We started this year with a bang when we released Astra version 4.0. And now we are almost at the end of this year and we don't want to stop here. So we are back with a new announcement of Astra version 4.4. And with this one, we got some amazing updates for front-end as well as the back-end of Astra theme. With our main focus on to make it faster for our visitors to find what they're looking for. Sounds interesting already, isn't it? Even I'm super excited to show you everything. We have six major updates for both Astra Free as well as the Pro users and I'm going to walk you through each one of them in this video. And make sure you watch this video till the end because in the end I'm going to show you a sneak peek of something big that we are going to release in the future version. And trust me, it's really mind blowing and I'm sure you don't want to miss that. But for now, let's talk about what's new in Astra version 4.4. So let's dive in. So for the first step, let me just go ahead and create a fresh WordPress copy. And for this one, I'm going to use ZipWP. Now, if in case you haven't tried ZipWP yet, make sure you check out the link given in the video description below. And you can go ahead and sign up with a free account and you will land up in the dashboard like this one. And with this, we can not just create a blank WordPress setup, we can create a complete site using AI. But right now, let me just go ahead and create a blank setup. I will click on create new from here and then select blank website. Let's give a site label here and then click on create site. And boom, within just two seconds, my WordPress setup is ready. And I can just click on this button here to go directly into my WordPress backend. And from here, let's go to appearance and then click on themes. And here we will click on add new to install the latest version of Astra theme. And here we can see Astra theme showing on the top three. So you can directly click on install from here or you can search for Astra in the search bar and then you will find the theme here and then click on install in order to install this theme. And then we will click on activate. And now we are ready with our WordPress setup. So let's start with the first update and that is live search. So here we are in the front end of our WordPress setup. And here on the top right corner, we have a search icon. So if I click on this, it's going to open our search box. And here I can simply type in a keyword and this is going to show us the live results here itself. So you don't have to type in the keyword and then hit enter and wait for the search page to appear in order to get all these results. With this live search, you are going to get everything right here. Now this one is for the free version of Astra theme. If you have the pro version, you can again click on this search icon. We have this full screen search option. And once again, if I type in my keyword, here we have the two results for our search query. Now let me show you how you can enable this live search. So for that, we need to go to customize. So if you are in the front end and log in as an admin, you will get an option in the admin bar itself. So here on the top, you can click on customize or from your WordPress backend, you can go to Astra. And here we can click on header builder. This is going to take us to the customizer page itself. And in our header builder, we have already added the search widget. So let's click on this. Now this one is for the free version of Astra. If you look at the customizer settings, here we have an option enable live search. So which is turned on right now. And just below that, we have two options where we want this search to happen. So we can select post or pages or we can select both but I prefer to choose post in this case. And once that is selected, whenever we enter any keyword here in the search bar, it's going to search only in the blog post of this site. And now for the Astra Pro version, we already have different search styles. So in this case, we have selected full screen search. And if we scroll down here, we again have the live search option, which is turned on. And for the search within post types, we have selected posts only. And with all the settings done, we can simply click on this search icon and then enter our keyword. And this is going to show us the live results here itself. All right, so next up we have feature image layouts. And this one works for both free as well as the pro version. Let me show you how it works. So right now I am in the customizer itself and here we are on the single blog post page. So we have our feature image on the top and we have the content below this. Now if I need to customize the single post layout, we need to go to blog, and then click on single post. And here we can play around with all the settings we have. And in order to edit our post title, we have option at the very top. And if we click on this, it's going to take us to the post title customizer. And here we have two options, layout one and layout two. And just below that we have structure. 
where we have our feature image, our post title, meta information and various other stuff. But now with the version 4.4, we have this new option in feature image section. So if you click on this, here we can see we have image position, which is right now set on none. So let's click on behind and this is going to set our feature image behind our content area. Below this, we can also change whether to make it full width or wide width. So this is how it's going to look. So for the wide one, we have this style. And if we keep it on full width, this is how it's going to look. Along with that, we can also change the image ratio. So right now it is set on original, but we can change it to custom. So here we can add the custom aspect ratio or we can choose predefined. And here we have already set 16 by nine, which looks perfect for this kind of style. And below that, we also have an option for image size. So right now it's loading the full size image, but we can change it to thumbnail, medium or whatever size we want. But right now we will leave it on full size. But just in case, if we choose layout two here, it's going to change the feature image options a little bit. So instead of behind, now we have below option. So let's click on this. So this is how it's going to look. The feature image will fall below the title of this post. And once again, we can change the aspect ratio and choose the image size from this drop down option. Along with that, we can also set the feature image as background. So if we turn this on, it's going to show the feature image in the background of our title here. And of course, we can add an overlay color as well. So let's say we choose this one and then reduce the opacity a little bit. So this is how it's going to look. Now, if you want, we can remove our feature image from here. All we have to do is just go to our image position. And from here, we just need to click on none. And it's going to take away the feature image from here. Now, if this title header looks a little bit narrow, we can change that as well. All we have to do is just click on design and then we can change the banner minimum height. So here we can update that. So let's say we keep it on 600 and we can also play around with the inner element spacing from here. So this is how we can play around with the single post image layouts. Now, next up is our much requested feature from our Astra Pro users and that is post archive filters. So let's see how this one works. So here we are inside our Astra theme customizer. And right now we are on our post archive page. And in order to customize this, we again need to go to blog. And this time we will click on blog archive. And now in order to add post category filters, we need to scroll down at the very bottom. And here we have a new entry called post filters. So let's turn this on. And now on the top of the page, we have our post category filters. So first we have all, which means right now it's showing all the posts from all the categories, but we can go ahead and filter them out. So let's say we only want to see the posts from classic category. So let's click on this. So now we only see these two posts, which are from the classic category. Let's say we only want to see the post from the trending category. So let's click on this. And now we only see the post from the trending category only. In the same way, if we click on general, we will see only general posts. Now, once we turn on our post filter option, we got two style options as well. So first we have style one, which we already see here. And if we click on style two, this is how the style two looks like. Below this, we have an option for filter source. So we can choose either categories or tags to make this filter. Along with that, we have an option to exclude category. So if you want, we can exclude any category from this filter. So let's say we don't want to see trending category in this filter. So if we select this one, it will be removed from our filter here. But for now, let's clear this. And below this, we have an option for alignment. So we can go ahead and align this to left or maybe right as well. And below this, we have the general option of visibility. So we can hide this maybe on desktop or maybe we can hide this on tablet and mobile as well. So this is how we can add post category filter with the latest version of Astra version 4.4. Next, we have sticky sidebar. Now, if you are an Astra Pro user, you already know how cool is our sticky header feature. But this time, Astra free users can also enjoy the sticky sidebar feature. So let's see how this one works. So we are again back on the single blog post page 
And here, right now we have a single column layout. So let's say we scroll down here and we choose the right sidebar layout. So this is how the default sidebar looks like. Now on this sidebar, you may have your advertising banners, maybe your important links or your newsletter subscription form or any call to action segment. Now, once we make this sidebar sticky, the content in this section will accompany users while they scroll up or down. But right now, as this is not sticky, so it's not scrolling down as we move down the page. So in order to make this sidebar sticky, we need to go back here in our customizer settings. And here in the main navigation, we have an option for sidebar. Let's click on this. And if we scroll down at the bottom, here we can see enable sidebar. Let's turn this on. And now if we scroll down the page, we can see our sidebar is now sticky. So whatever we put in our sidebar, it will now stay with the user as they scroll down the page. Next up in our list is secondary button styling. And this one again works for both Astra free as well as the pro users. Let me show you how it works. Now let's say we are on the home page of our site and on the home page, we want to add two buttons. So here in the page editor, we will just go ahead and type in button. So here we have the buttons block from the native block editor. So let's click on this. So for this button, let's call it primary and let's go ahead and duplicate this. And for this one, we will call it secondary. And now if we click on the list view, let's select the main button block and let's align this to center. And now if we click on our secondary button here and here from the right hand side settings, we go to styles and here we can see two style options. First is default, which is our primary one. And the second style is outline. So if I click on this, it's going to take the default styling here. And that's what now we can customize from the Astra theme customizer. So let's update this page here. And if we refresh our front end. So this is how our native primary and secondary button looks like. Now let's see how we can customize this. So we go to customizer from here and from the very top, we go to global, then click on buttons. And now we have two tabs here. First says primary and the second one is secondary. So first for the primary, let's say we want the button styling as like this one. And maybe we want to change the text to white. And for the padding, let's say we want to make it 20 from the top, 40 from the right, 20 from the bottom and 40 from the left. And let's increase the font size a little bit as well. So let's make it 16. So now this is how our primary button will look like. Now let's jump on to the secondary button tab here. And for this one, let's say we want to style it like this button here. And once again, we will change the padding. And let's change the fonts as well. And for this one, let's say we want the border color to be white and for the hover, we will make the border color as this mustard yellow. For the background color, we will make it transparent. And for the text color, we will make it mustard yellow. And same goes for the hover as well. So this is how our primary and secondary button looks like in the front end. Next up, we have surface colors, which allows Astra Pro users to add custom colors to every single page. So let's say we are on this about us page and as you can see, this background color is same on all the pages. So maybe we go to services. So we have the same background color here as well. But now if we go back here on about us page here, we want to add a different background color. Now, if we go back in the Astra theme customizer, we can update the global colors, but that is going to reflect on all the pages. But now with the latest version of Astra theme, you will be able to edit the background color for every single page. So let's go ahead and edit this page. And here from the top right corner, if we click on Astra settings, and then if we scroll down at the very bottom, here we have advanced settings. If we click on this, and now we have a new entry called surface colors. If we mouse over on this help icon, it clearly states that enabling this option will override your global colors, which means whatever changes we do, it will only show for this specific page only. So instead of inherit, let's click on enabled. 
and now we can change the page background as well as the content background color. So let's say we go ahead and change the page background. So let's say we choose this color as our website background and we can do the same for the content background as well. And once we are done, we just need to click on return to post or maybe we can click on this close icon from here. So let's do that. And now if we update this page and let's see how it looks in the front end. And this is how it looks in the front end. So here we have a different background color for our about us page. And now if we click on the services page, here we have a plain white background color. So this is how we can add different unique colors for every single page. And if all that is making you excited already, then let me give you a quick sneak peek of what we are building behind the scenes and what's coming to your way very soon. Are you ready? Allow me to present Astra Site Builder. So very soon you will be able to build your entire website using Astra Site Builder. From custom headers, footers, 404 pages, single pages, and even your single posts as well as your archive pages. You will get full control on what you want to build and how you want to build it. I can't wait to see all these features going live. I'm feeling really excited about it and can't wait to see this rolling out for you very soon. So these will be the updates that you will see in Astra version 4.4 and we are sure you're going to love it and we can't wait to see what you build with these new amazing features. And just in case if anything goes wrong, you can always roll back using our version control feature. If you have any questions, any feedback, do let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear your thoughts on this. And I'm sure you want to learn how you can create some amazing websites with the new Astro version. So for that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.